area during a wave of severe storms that hit our area Wednesday night into Thursday. Now, we News 10 crews were on the scene. We also got some viewer video showing the storm blowing through that area, knocking down trees and power lines all around the town of Kingston. In fact, the damage was so severe that the town had to declare a state of emergency. We now follow up with meteorologist Rob Lindenmuth. And Rob, we did get that confirmation today, and it was pretty serious. It was, it was significant for sure, Michaela. And the winds coming out of both the macroburst and the tornado significant 90 miles per hour for both of them and of course the National Weather Service just confirming this with their survey uh, earlier this afternoon the macro burst occurred in Kingston uh, between 837 and 847 just southeast of the Ashokan Reservoir and Tim was on uh, that evening as this was coming on through and it was looking nasty on the radar again maximum winds 90 miles per hour length was four miles long the width of about, about uh, 1,750 yards uh, near Lapla Road and across Route 209 uh, heading towards uh, Cavery Hill Road uh, just north of Marbletown. Snapped and uprooted many trees and also did some damage to some homes. And then we had that EF1 tornado just east of that macro burst. Again, 849 to 851 p.m. So very short lived, only on the ground for about a half a mile. The width was 300 yards near Hurley Avenue is where it came down. And then it moved just west of I-87. But it did impact a pretty uh, little uh, neighborhood here uh, between Hurley Ave and through uh, I-87. Multiple trees were uprooted. Of course, power lines were down and many homes were damaged with that tornado. Now, here is a picture of that storm. There is that shelf cloud, the lowering of the clouds, indicative of a very strong thunderstorm. You can see it there as well, moving into Kingston. You see the sky like that, you want to take shelter.